Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to do the random benchmark test in the Mi Pad 5 device on the day one after initial unboxing and initial setup. Yes, friends. Just now I did finish my setup process in the Xiaomi Pad 5 and it's my first time doing the Anubishmark test in this uh, Xiaomi Pad 5 as well on the day one. And the tablet has got the Snapdragon 860 processor which is quite powerful I would say definitely. And right now I do have the Poco X3 Pro device with me which does have the Snapdragon 860 also. So I can actually compare side by side regarding benchmark scores. Is there kind of any difference? Will it be very close to the mobile phone or not? That's what I'm going to demonstrate exactly in this video. And right now I do have the Realme Pad with me and Realme Pad Mini also in this Flipkart box which is there right now. And for the next few days, I'll be definitely concentrating on this uh, Xiaomi Pad 5 in terms of the performance and everything. And first, let me need to download the Android Benchmark test applications. Right now, I did not install any other application. These are complete applications out of the box. Let me need to go to the settings and connect to the Wi-Fi and download the Android Benchmark test applications first. Right now, as you can see, friends, I'm trying to download the Android Benchmark test application. So these are the latest benchmark applications I'm trying to install at this moment in this Xiaomi Pad 5. So once this 3D benchmark has been downloaded, then I'll try to immediately do the benchmarking test. Let me to click and install this 3D benchmark application as well. So finally friends, the application has been successfully installed. Let me to clear everything from the background. So all the apps are completely clear from the background as you can see exactly. And I'll try to disable the Wi-Fi connection as well while performing this test. And let me to click on the Android benchmark application. And this is my first time doing the benchmarking test on this Xiaomi Pad 5 with the Snapdragon 860 chipset. And is the latest Pro, latest version as well under benchmark version and this is the temperatures 36 degrees celsius this is the latest version and right now my room temperature is about 34 degrees celsius and tablet is only about 36 degrees celsius not bad regarding the temperatures wise and now let's try to start the benchmark let's see how much high scores we can actually expect in this xiaomi pad 5 with the snapdragon 860 processor on the day one of the after the unboxing on the day one of usage that's what i'm going to demonstrate in this video and I can be back after some time friends just to check the normal temperatures what's going on. Let me to slightly decrease the volume. Yes. So I can be back after some time just to check the temperatures what's happening in this tablet after some time. Right now as you can see when the hundred percent per percentage is about 60 percent and let's check the temperatures right now it's only about 37 degrees celsius not bad that's pretty cool regarding the temperatures it's not increasing much higher temperatures on the back side it's about 38.6 degrees celsius. So that's pretty good regarding the temperatures wise overall i will be back after some time just to check overall temperatures what's happening in this device after some time right now as you can see friends we are reaching close to the end of the benchmark test results and right now around 90 percent of the end benchmark test the temperature did increase up to 37 degrees celsius like it's nothing friends because my room temperature is only 34 degrees and tablet temperature is about 37 degrees. Only 3 degrees I think it's increased. That's not bad I would say. And we are reaching to the final stage of benchmarking test exactly right now. Let's find out what will happen with overall benchmarks while performing this test at this moment. So final friends, we are getting the final score on the Xiaomi Pad 5 device regarding the benchmark test. So let's find out what will be the overall benchmark scores in the Snapdragon 860 processor. And finally the phone, the tablet did reach about 580,000, not bad, as you can see. Which is exactly same as the phone score as well, even my Poco X3 Pro also reaches same score. So which is really fantastic friends in this tablet, the Xiaomi Pad 5, for this kind of budget, this is most powerful processor uh, tablet you can actually get right now for 23,000 rupees after using the SBI credit card EMI transactions and CPU and the GPU usage you can see how much the percentage it is regarding the performance and everything and temperature increased to 37 degrees Celsius overall 2% of the battery got dropped and 2% increased regarding the temperature in the battery not bad which is really fantastic friends and that's it friends thank you for watching and straight up more updates in case if you have any other questions on this tablet let me know in the comment section below and meanwhile signing off until then stay tuned and bye